Hi there. For the launch of Kids Fest for 2010 on the 3rd of July, we're going to have a lantern parade. You can see Lawrence here yeah. putting the finishing touches to his lantern, made out of willow and tissue paper. He's just applying a little extra glue to make sure it sticks and hanging it up to dry. Now we're going to show you how to make your own lantern. Here's some of the materials you'll need. Some willow sticks, tissue paper, masking tape, glue and a sponge, some lacing wire, blade, scissors and cutters. Starting with willow for the base, 50 centimetre pieces here for the length of it by around about 25 centimetres wide. using wire cutters here to cut. You could cut with something like a hacksaw or uh, I'm sure even pruning shears might do the trick depending on what sort of willow you're using. This is dried special willow for basket making. Here we go, he's just putting some masking tape around there, rolling it around. It doesn't have to be exact but you know, make sure you get a decent join on there and follow that through with all four corners. Beautiful. Now some cross pieces. These will be taped in as well. And these will be on the base of your lantern to hold your candle. If you don't want to use a candle, you might be able to use a torch or a torch bulb or something. Maybe you can get mum or dad or big brother or sister to help. Now Lawrence is building up the height of the lantern. These pieces are probably closer to about 55 centimetres. It doesn't really matter too much. You don't want to make it too big though. Otherwise your candle or your little light inside is not going to light it up well enough. Four corners done there. And then Lawrence will draw them together like so. Frame's nearly done now. Just need a little bit of a bracing around the top here just to help hold the tissue paper and provide your little chimney here. Cutting a candle, be careful with this. Maybe mum and dad might have to help you with that one. Or you could use a tea light, although you'd have to find some secure way to attach it. This way, with the candle, you can actually wrap the wire around a few times and then give it a few twists at the end. Maybe some pliers to help you. Orange doesn't have any pliers, he's going to use his wire cutters there very carefully so he doesn't cut the wire. Watch out! Uh, yeah, done. There you go, nice and firm, attached to the bottom on the cross plate there. You could actually add another couple of wires there to make it even more firm if you wanted to, but that's good and firm there, that does the trick. Now we want another piece of wire at the top for a special hanging thing for a hook. There you go, Lawrence has made a hook holder out of a bit of bamboo there. Now, with glue, sometimes it's a bit thick, so you've got to water it down, mix it up. Now you're going to apply this to the tissue paper all over. Helps make the tissue paper stretch nicely over the frame and also to glue it to the willow edges. You wrap your pieces around not an exacting art, you can leave little gaps here and patch them up later. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you, you decide how perfect you want it to be. The idea is to get something made up nice and, and quick and effective uh, under the night sky with a candle or a, a, some sort of illumination. actually cut all your pieces with scissors as well just to, 
to make sure it fits up into size. And always allow a little bit of extra on the side so you can wrap it around a bit to give it a little bit of strength once you've glued it all over. There we are, it's glued it all over now and he's going to stick with that. Other side on. Attach it very nicely to the willow, wrap it around, attach it to itself as well. Trim off a few pieces. Oh, there's a hole, let's patch that. Very nice, very tidy. Not far off now, nearly finished. Got the base to do, here we go, here's the base. Now you should see we've left a little bit of a gap at the top there and that's your chimney. You need some uh, airspace at the top to allow the heat out from the candle. So it'll get pretty hot in there otherwise and we don't want your uh, lantern setting fire. If it does set fire, it won't burn for long, that tissue doesn't take long to burn off. But if it does catch fire, just put it on the ground and walk away from it. And make sure nobody's going to uh, walk into yeah. it. I think they'll see it burning somehow. And here we go, back to the start. Yeah. This is where uh, Lawrence is just doing the finishing jobs here, adding a little bit more glue to make sure it sticks nice and firmly and hanging it up to dry. Now once it's dry, we'll be cutting a wee hole in it and uh, we'll show you how you can light your candle. Once your lantern's dry you can cut a wee hole in it so you can access the candle and you can use one of those big things like that to light it with, nice and long, or some of these long matches here. Now be very careful with this, don't set fire to your lantern and remember that the candle's heat does rise so have that hole on top. Here's Lawrence uh, in a dark place. And there's some other shapes and sizes you can uh, get experimental on. Remember though, don't make them too big and always leave that gap at the top. There's heaps of new things to do and cool stuff to try. TV2 Kids Fest is going to be great! See you there!